There we go. All right, good evening. Officially, we are starting the orientation for all those who've registered. Uh, so if you are here and on this Zoom call, give yourself a round of applause. You did it, right? You registered. You made it before the deadline, man. Congratulations. Yeah, Kelvin's got the whole round of applause going. Good job, man. Uh, but we are glad that you did it. Not everyone registered, right? And so we understand that, but we've got a lot of clubs registered. We've got almost 600 people participating. So we're very happy for that. And you guys are part of that. And you'll be part of the forever history of the eTracker iCampery, the very first ever done in Florida conference. And uh, Javier has been a big part of that and was part of helping us say, hey, let's make history. Let's do, let's go back to separate camperies just for this one time, not forever, just for this one time. Let's separate on our varsity and our e-trackers. And so I think it set a course for us and now we're well into that course, but I'm happy that we're here. Um, and also I wanna let you know that if you've had Pathfinders, e-tracker age Pathfinders that recently were baptized, we'd love to uh, highlight them by sending pictures in I know that we've also invited and made it an open door if there's an e-tracker that's ready to be baptized. We're not trying to push that, but hey, we'd love to celebrate that, right? We'd love to have that be a part of our campery. So if you have Pathfinders that have talked to you about that, pastor and parent and everything, everybody agrees and the child agrees, we'd love to do a baptism. Wouldn't that be awesome uh, to celebrate a baptism during the campery? So we've already got some stories coming in and we've got pictures of some kids who are e-tracker age and they were baptized recently. And we're going to celebrate that. We're going to say, wow, we think that's pretty cool. And we're glad for what God's done in your life as an e-tracker pathfinder and that you took that step. So as we get ready for this event, um, you're going to go to the same web page that you went to to kind of get the basic information. And that web page is the floridaconference.com slash e-tracker iCampery 2020. Uh, so that's no secret. It's a website we've had out there before. There's a link to register there. There's a schedule there. We'll go over that a little bit later. But um, that's a website that we built for you, Carmen built for you from the office side to at least give you basic information about the campery. That link is the same link you'll go to, but we'll change the page. We'll put a button on there that says login. And that's where you simply will log in. You'll click on login and it'll open a portal into a new website that is password protected. And you might say, why is it password protected? Well, because this is a, a registered event, right? This is a paid event. So only those who have registered, only those who have paid are those that should be in there. So what would we encourage you to do as a director, as a secretary, if you're representing your club tonight? Um, we suggest that you work on a list, right? If you already have a list of all the kids that you've registered, all the pathfinders, all the adults, that list will make your job easier once we give you the password. Because what do we want you to do with the password? <laughs> we want you to share it, right? And so if you've got a text group or if you've got a WhatsApp group or if you've got an email group, whatever you do, we just want to encourage you to build that group so that when we give you the password, you quickly pass it off. Like you don't have to sit there and think, oh no, what am I going to do? How am I going to let my kids know? We want you to practice that and get it ready. Um, also, we want you to know that in... On the Thursday night before opening night. So opening night is November 13. I heard it. Yes, 13. Thank you, Javier. Opening night's Friday, Thursday. I'm sorry. Opening night is Friday, November 13. And I want you to know that Thursday night, November 12, you're going to get an email. That email will come from the Pathfinder Adventure Department. It will have the password. So you'll get to log in like you can practice starting Thursday night by 6 p.m. We guarantee that that will be at you like we'll do all that we can. I shouldn't say guarantee. We'll do everything humanly possible to make sure by 6 p.m. Thursday night you have that password so you can pass it along. So you can jump onto the website, start exploring, seeing what's there and getting a feel for how to use it. Now, to make sure that everybody who's registered for the eTracker Camp Re actually gets the email this Thursday, one week before we send the password, we're gonna send a test email. And that test email is to the email address for every secretary and every director that we have that registered. So we wanna make sure that that's correct. If you wonder, hey, do you have my right email address? Feel free to send an email to Carmen. And Carmen, if you could type your email in the chat real quick. Uh, if you need that email, it'll be in the chat. So take a peek there. But this Thursday, we'll send the test email. Next week, Thursday on November 12, we'll send the real email. So if you don't get an email on Thursday, what, what would be a good idea to do? 
let us know that next week, right? Like send us an email. Hey, I need the email because I didn't get it. And I want to get the password on Thursday night. Like I don't want to be stuck or lost or not have it. So that's coming. We just want to make sure that you have that. You can email Carmen. She just put her email in the chat. We want to make sure that you get a chance to do that. So that'll be a demo um, kind of to go through what we're trying to get you to do. Um, if you want to share some of what the website does, how you work on it, meet with your team, with your club, with your kids, your staff, that's up to you. But we just encourage you to build that list because we're gonna send you the link. Um, everything is gonna be built around one website, one website. So when you click login and go into the password, type in the password and make sure you watch case sensitive, right? Capital, lowercase, all that. Once you get in there, that's the one place you need to go. You don't have to worry about any other link, anything else, just that one web page. That's all you need. Once you've logged in, you'll see that the web page will have some buttons up at top. And the buttons will be what actually allows you to navigate the site. So there'll be some buttons that will be for honors that are already pre-presented. It's called the honor library, right? So the honor library will have two different libraries in it. One. The honor library that we launched at Red Zone, I don't know if you were a part of that, but Red Zone had over 100 honors in that library. I doubt that anyone finished all of them, right? Also, Carmen's been working to look through the internet and find another at least 50 honors that have been posted since I Red Zone. So you've got access to over 150 honors that your kids could go to starting Thursday night if they want to. They could stay up all night if they want to do honors all night. That's something we want you to have access to. So those libraries are there to help your e-trackers have a lot of variety. Now, I will say this, all of those honors in the libraries, the honor libraries, they are limited, right? Basically, I want you to think of the library like I'm going to go look for a good book to read or I'm going to go look for a, a, something I want to learn about. Think of it as an introduction, because as a director, one of the feedbacks we're getting back is, my kids are telling me that they completed this honor, but I don't know what they did. Well, they probably didn't complete the honor. If you've been around Pathfinder Ministry for a while, you know that honors need a lot of requirements to actually complete. So in that honor library, there think of it as an introduction, think of it as a sample, think of it as I'm just getting exposed to different ideas, and there will be other requirements that my kids will need to meet. So if that's an honor that you say as a club, you want all of your e-trackers to do or all of your Pathfinders to do, you can work on finding an instructor. So think of the honor libraries as an introduction. Kids can get a lot of information, get exposed to a lot of different content, but there probably will be some other things that they'll need to do to complete all the requirements. We just wanna make sure there's a disclaimer and we give you that warning kind of when you get into the libraries, if you don't remember, but we just want you to be excited to have exposure to a lot of stuff and get started on earning honors, but there'll be some more steps to do. Also in the, the webpage, there'll be some things in there that are live. So you'll see live worships, you'll see live honors, you'll see live activities. Now, all of these live things are things that are actually gonna happen live, right? Like they're gonna be live right during this event. So the live worship will be happening there. This is what we want you to know. For the different live tabs, you'll have always one option, sometimes two options. What are those options? Within the live tabs, activities, honors, and worships, every time that there's a, a, an activity happening, an honor happening that's live or a worship, you can click on the Zoom link or the YouTube link. Now, what's the difference? Well, think of Zoom as I'm actually in the room with the instructor, right? Like I'm actually participating. I'm a part of whatever's happening. Like I can interact, I can ask questions. If it's a game, I can actually play and answer and get points and be a part of the winning team. Zoom gives you that interaction. Zoom also has a limitation. There are only 20 people that can get into Zoom because we want to make sure that all the kids that are in the Zoom room have the opportunity to be involved. So that's one button, Zoom. The other option is YouTube. So we'll stream some of our content also to our YouTube channel. Pathfinder and Adventure Department has a YouTube channel. So when there's a YouTube button, you can click on that and you can watch whatever is live in Zoom. So you can send your kids to YouTube if they just wanna watch. Sometimes they don't wanna get involved. They don't wanna participate. Or they might say, then I might have to look at someone or I might have to speak and they might not be ready to do that. So go to YouTube and just watch it like you're watching a channel. So as you go through the live buttons, the live tabs, remember live activities, live worship, live honors, 
Within those, you'll have either a Zoom where they're in the room participating or they'll have a YouTube link where they're just watching. So just to help your kids understand that, that they get those choices and we won't broadcast everything live on YouTube, um, but everything will happen uh, there in the Zoom room for the activities and honors. For all of the worships, the only people that will get a separate link is those who are actual participants in the worship. So that won't be on the web page, but the link will be there to watch the worship live on YouTube. So all you do is click on the time that the worship is on YouTube. It'll take you into the YouTube uh, live feed and you can participate in all of the worships and know that back around in another room, somebody else is sitting in Zoom making that worship happen for you. Uh, anybody know our theme for this campery? Anybody? Can you see the heart there? I, I can read Kelvin's lips. Yes, he's saying it. It says, I am loved. And God said it, and I what? Believe it. Isn't that a beautiful logo? Man, when I look at the patch and I look at the pin, the colors just pop. Even the shirt today, I was like, this shirt, the colors are brilliant. Like, it's great artwork. The, the vendor really did a good job producing all this stuff, and so we're very happy for that. Um, but when it comes to uh, putting all this together and doing all this, we just want you to know that the theme is, I am loved. God said it. I believe it. We want you to know that our speaker is one of our pastors. He's actually one of the pastors that I've enjoyed uh, listening to him preach. Uh, like he's in my top five of Florida pastors when they preach. So I'm very, and I'm not one of the top five, just so you know. I, these are the top five that I listen to, these that I like to listen to. Um, but these are our pastors. I think we good. Pastor Gervon Marsh used to be Merlin Brooks' boss and Merlin Brooks' pastor. And I think she would agree with you. Both of the Brooks would agree with you that um, God has blessed him with the great talent for, for sharing. And I'm excited for what he'll share with the Pathfinders. Um, as you think about uh, your kids' experience, one of the things that we'd like you to do is as they explore going into a Zoom room or going into a YouTube uh, channel to watch the activities or honors, please keep in mind that those buttons to jump into the Zoom room will disappear. They'll disappear like 15 minutes after the scheduled start time. And the reason is we don't want you to be stuck there waiting to get into the room. Um, so if they don't get into the room, tell them to jump in over to the YouTube because that room's probably already full. And that's why they're not letting anyone else in. So if they're just there, I can't get in the room. Well, it's probably full. All right. So that's another thing I wanted to run through with you. And um, those buttons will expire. So. I want to give our camping director, Javier, a moment to share something. And I do want to acknowledge Eartha is here also. Eartha is running our worships for us. And she's been doing a great job getting people to send in videos and recruiting kids to do things. So it's fun to see the different pieces coming together. Javier, and then we'll go to Carmen after that. Um, so Javier, what have I missed? Or what would you like to share with this group of leaders that are getting ready to bring their e-trackers to the e-tracker I can't read? Um, well, I just want to welcome everybody to this meeting. Also, I want to emphasize that um, this coming Thursday, and Pastor Pedro mentioned that already, it's really, really important that you receive that email because if you don't receive that email, that means that we have an email that, um, I mean, we have a mistake in, in, in our communication, basically. So you need to let us know so let Carmen know on the email that, uh, you know, send an email to Carmen so we can fix it. And then you can get the right email, the right password on the Thursday before. Um, also, I want to tell you, thank you for registering for this event. Um, I mean, we really wanted to do a face-to-face -face campery. And, and I think that was very important for us to do a face-to-face but um, since the word is telling us right now that that's going to be impossible, we didn't want just to say no. And we wanted to open the opportunity to have this virtual campery for eye campery for the e trackers. And um, uh, I just want to share with you that this, this is the third Pathfinder virtual event that we do on the department, is the second. Um, uh, I can parry um, for the state also because the first one was the varsity 
and this is the third event that we do, the third camp, the third I, the second I campery, and the first campery for e-trackers. So uh, it's really, really important that uh, uh, you, you know, you that you participated in this event. And we have the numbers. We we wanted to have a big numbers, and I think we did. Uh, I think we got over six hundred, Pastor Pedro. Uh, about six hundred. About six hundred. So uh, I mean, thank you for doing that. Thank you for involving your pathfinders. And also, I want to take the opportunity to thank uh, uh, the e trackers and the directors and the staff. Um, and I love all the churches in Florida, but I need to also say thank you to Calvin for uh, doing a special effort and 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 registering the e trackers from for the city. That's my church, and I, I miss you guys on the varsity. But I know you guys came strong and and you did a good number for this e tracker event. Thank you. Very cool. Thank you, Javier. Appreciate that. And we are proud of all of you. We know that it's it's a different time to be doing club ministry. It's not easy. Some of you, it's been a challenge. Uh, for some of you, it's it's meant a lot of extra effort and work, and we appreciate that. Uh, Javier, before we stop from um, hearing from our camping director and go to Carmen, this is a eye campery. Does it mean you should still camp? Like, do we want kids to camp? Do we want kids to just not camp any thoughts on that um i, I my suggestion is that uh, if your kids wants to camp either in their backyards in their living rooms even in their rooms uh they can do that and let me tell you e trackers is an excellent age for that um uh, even if they want to do it um as a group um, and somehow you can divide the families in different uh, tents and space wise, uh, you know, you can do that. And also I encourage uh, all the directors to send us the pictures because at the end, we're hoping to get all those pictures and show all the weekend on pictures. It's gonna be like a picture review of uh, all the clubs that participated. So, uh, I mean, encourage your kids to go camping uh, within the limitations, but go camping. Thank you, Pastor. And even if it's glamping, right? Even if you just put, put like a nightlight in your room instead of your light, like just encourage them to do whatever, to, to get some kind of camping experience. Let's at least keep that alive. And did I hear the rumor that the Brooks are gonna go camping in their backyard and send in pictures? Did, did I hear that, Merlin? Is that, is that a true rumor? I think, I think so, I think so. Oh, Calvin confirmed it. So, hey, maybe that <laughs> maybe that's a picture all the e-trackers would love to see. I, I would love to see it. So thank you for that. All right, Carmen, from the office, what would you like us to know? What are we, what would we like to share with our e-tracker leaders? I think you covered it. Okay. I don't think, yeah. Good, well, thank Use you, I tried. <laughs> Oh yeah, so hey, that's great, thank you. We're gonna come up with a hashtag and send it to you. We still haven't settled on it, but I just got on the on the phone today, off the phone today with a guy um, who's helping us. We're trying to get a uh, like a wall. Have you ever been to an event where there's a prayer wall where you can like write stuff on the wall or we're trying to work that out so the website will have a digital wall on it. So if you're on Facebook, if you're on Twitter, if you're on TikTok, if you're on Instagram, wherever you are and you use that hashtag, it will pull that hashtag out and post it to the website on that wall. So we're hoping that that works out, but we'll send you that in the email. If that works out, encourage your kids to use a hashtag with their pictures, with their stories, with their thoughts, with their prayer requests. Um, and Calvin's gonna be running a prayer line for us. They'll read that wall and they'll pull prayer requests off of there to be praying for your kids. Um, and Javier nailed it. Like, we, this is not just a camping event, right? This isn't just an honor event. This isn't just a let's do activities. This is a spiritual event, right? Like, this is the, the whole point of the campery is to help kids believe more than they ever have that they're loved by God and that that's a promise that because God said it, they can believe it. And that's our goal. That's our prayer. Like, that's why we're doing all that we're doing. That's why you're doing all that you're doing, right? 
So just to encourage your kids, get curious with them and ask them, like, what's a promise that God's made that you believe? Like, what's one that you're sure of? And maybe even say, what's one that you're not so sure of? Like, maybe God's made a promise, but you don't think that's true for you. And you can explore that and talk to them about it and challenge them to say, maybe it's time that you believe that because God said it, you can believe it. And we would encourage you to do that. So that's something that we want to just keep on the forefront. All right. So that's kind of where we are. That's what we wanted to share with you. Um, big picture, just watch for your email. A little bit of information about the website. And um, I was going to share the schedule with you real quick. Does that interest anyone? Let me do that real quick. Uh, let me go to the schedule. So I can make sure that we review that. One second, that wasn't it. Okay, let me share this website with you and then we can look at the schedule. And then if there are any questions, feel free to unmute and ask away. I'll share the schedule with you and then we'll wrap up. All right, let me come over here. Here it is. So this is the schedule for the weekend. Um, we'll start with opening program on Friday night and that will happen at seven o'clock. There will be a director's meeting on Saturday, on Sabbath morning. So if you want to be a part of that, that will give you some time to ask questions, give you a quick orientation. There will be a Sabbath school. Again, we're gonna highlight baptism. We're gonna hear announcements from different ministry leaders. We'll have worship at 11. Um, baptism, if there is a live one, uh, we'd love to have that happen. We'll give you a break for lunch. And then you'll have from two to 445 for honors and Sabbath activities. And then uh, you've probably noticed by now that the sun's going down a little earlier, right? Like it's, it's winter schedule. And um, we'll do our Vespers at 545. There'll be a little time for directors. And then at 6.45, there'll even be Saturday evening activities. So get ready for that. And then Sunday morning, we'll have a director's meeting in the morning. We'll do a devotional at nine o'clock before we get started for the day. And then at 9.30 for two hours, there'll be honors and activities. And then we invite you to come back for a closing ceremony uh, at 11.30 and done by noon on Sunday. So you can pack up all your tents and drive back home and do all that stuff, right? Uh, in that sense, there's a little bit of a luxury, right? Like you don't have to do all that. And for some of our friends from Homestead, Florida, like instead of a seven hour drive, uh, you might have a seven minute walk from uh, whatever you're doing to put away your, your glamping tent and all that stuff. But hey, thank you for what you have done to get registered. Thank you for bringing your, your um, e-trackers along with you. And I don't see anything in the chat. I haven't seen anybody unmute. Um, one final chance. Any questions before we close the call for tonight? This was just meant to help you uh, get some basic information, remind you that we're going to send you those emails. Watch this week Thursday for one. If you don't get it, let us know. And then the real one will come next Thursday. Start building that list with your, your kids and your uh, parents so that they can be involved. And I think we're in good shape. All right. There's something in the chat Thursday. So two emails, the email on Thursday, November five is a test. So if you don't get that email, let us know. The email with the password will be November 12. So that's the difference between the two emails. All right. The one is just a test to make sure we got you. And it's the same email we sent this to, right? The invitation for tonight. So if you got this, we're probably on track with you. But as you can see, we're 29 people on tonight, so not everyone was able to join, and that's okay. We don't, we're not requiring you to do that. Um, baptism pictures, you can send those to Carmen, or you, and that email address is in there. You can email them to me also, pedro.perez at floridaconference.com, and either one will be there. And this is, um, thank you for that question. Okay. And Pastor Pedro, I just want to add something. Um, yeah. The pictures uh, that they can send uh, for for the camper for the eye campery, uh, they don't need to be recent pictures. It could be 
pictures like uh, somebody who got baptized, a kid who got baptized, uh, you know, a month ago or or two months ago. We just want to to recognize that. Yeah. So uh, Thank you. we want pictures. And also, yeah. I just want to add something, Pastor Pedro. Um, I just want to acknowledge also uh, uh, Deidre uh, and Elliston, who you. could not be here tonight on this meeting. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to tell you that they are 100% behind this activity as uh, e tracker directors. And they have been working very hard to make sure that this activity happens. And um, and they'll go be there that weekend and uh, they're gonna be involved with everybody and all the activities. Thank you for that. Yes, the tailors are working hard behind the scenes and we are grateful for them. Thank you for mentioning that. Very good. If there are no other questions, I'll close us with the prayer. Thank you again for coming on and watch for your email. Um, get your e-trackers as excited as you can about being a part of this e-tracker campery. And why not camp like the Brooks are going to camp, right? Like, why not follow their lead? Why not? Uh, and if you want to, Calvin might even show you him eating sugar cane without a knife, like just peeling it with his teeth. You just, you just might have some fun just watching him camping there in South Florida. All right. Thank you, everyone, for coming on. Oh, Altamont Springs, I saw a finger. Go for it. En español voy a hablar. Okay. Eh, yo quisiera saber, para, para uno elegir los honores, yo me podría meter actualmente para, para elegir los honores y darle a los niños los honores. Yes. So the question is, what do, how do I know what the honors are and how do I sign kids up for honors? Para no hay que inscribir no hay que anotarse para tomar los honores. Es los primeros que llegan, son los que entran en la pieza con el instructor. Pero los que no llegan a la, al cuarto donde está el instructor pueden ir a YouTube y verlo ahí. También quisiera mencionar que nosotros vamos a poner una lista de los honores que se va a ofrecer en vivo en la página web de la conferencia. FloridaConference.com slash e-tracker I can't read. Carmen, if you could type that in the chat. So I just shared with her that to sign up for the honors, there's no sign up. It's the first 20 that get into the room to be with the instructor. Those are the ones that get to be there. If that's also shared live on YouTube, then they if they miss the Zoom room with the instructor, they can watch over on the, um, the YouTube channel. And then you can go to the website, floridaconference.com slash eTracker iCampery2020. And tomorrow we'll get that list up of the honors that are being offered. Um, and it'll be there on the, I think on the right side of the page where it says general information. So go down to the bottom of general information. Mañana en la página web, vamos a poner bajo la cosa que dice información general. Ahí abajo vamos a poner un, un link para que tú apretas ahí, te va a decir cuáles son los honores. Okay. And um, I also, just so that you know this, let me let me read through a list for you real quick. Um, Deidre had sent me a list. If I can find it, yeah, here it is. So here are some of the honors: peacemaker, missionary life, Christian grooming and manners, cultural diversity appreciation, prayer, Jonah and paper mache, African American heritage, sanctuary creation, social media, reptile, coral reef, weather, animal camouflage, and bully prevention one and bully prevention two. So those are some of the honors. We'll put that list on the website tomorrow. So you'll get that. And also check this out. We've got varsity kids that are going to be teaching honors. I'm very excited about that. We've got kids who are varsity pathfinders here in Florida conference that uh, taught honors for the varsity campery, and they're also gonna teach honors and some new kids are gonna teach honors. So I think that's pretty cool that our older pathfinders are gonna teach honors to our younger pathfinders. Uh, so we're excited about that. A lot of that happens already in the Reveille system, but not so much in the campery system. So we're happy that for this campery, we'll have kids sharing with kids and helping them learn their honors. So pray for those kids, pray for the instructors, uh, for all the people doing activities, for our guest speaker, uh, for your kids to have a spiritual weekend, right? To, to get a clearer picture of who Jesus is in their life 
to believe maybe in a new way that they really are loved by God. Like he really, really does love them and that they can't ever change his mind about his love for them. I think that's a big deal. All right, thank you for the question. Any other questions? Okay, you know how to get us. If you wanna email us or call us, text us, um, we'll be happy to see you and share whatever we can to help you have the best experience possible. All right? Pastor Pedro. Yes, sir. Oh, one second, let me move from where I'm ready. Pastor Pedro, um, also remind the directors that they could use the, they're supposed to use the prior wall. They yes. Use the prior wall because we will be looking in it um, various time to mention the names and the prayer requests that come in. Yes, we do want you to encourage your kids to use that. And we'll make that announcement during the Campery weekend as well, just to encourage you how to do it and what to do. And uh, we hope you do take advantage of that so that we can pray for you and for your kids. Um, I saw your question early. Tell me a little bit more about that. Your question is, is there a limited time to teach an honor? Yes, because uh, what is, is my kids are not, but the first time they're going to be teaching an honor. So I don't know if they're going to have like, are they going to do it faster or is it so limited? Like how many, how many minutes do they have to do this? And that's exactly what I want to know. Uh, so thank you. And our honor leader, um, Sherry and her team with Merlin, they'll get back to you on that. But the quick answer is they can take as long as they need. We just okay. want them to be as thorough as possible. So if there are seven requirements and they can teach those seven requirements in 70 minutes, then it takes them 70 minutes. Uh, most of the time, it probably will take them at least a half hour to go through all the different things. Yeah. And one, one way to find out how long it takes is to practice, right? Exactly, so yeah. If they, <laughs> if they say, hey, I'm going to teach my brother or my sister or you as a director or another staff member, like I'm we're going to meet one day and they're going to teach me the honor. Then you'll get a, a kind of a basic idea. And then also leave time for some questions and answers, leave time for some interaction. Um, but the, there's no specific set time. Every honor is different and every honor takes a different amount of time. So okay. it kind of depends on the, the person presenting. It depends on the honor that they're presenting. And also, um, sometimes like if you're nervous, it can mean you talk more, or you talk less, or you talk faster, <laughs> or you talk slower. So just a lot yeah. of variables, but work with Sherry and Merlin and Jackie. I think those are the three ladies that are working on that and they'll answer some other questions that way. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. But thank you for getting your kids involved to teach. I'm very happy. <laughs> and that's, I'm glad you reminded me. I knew that there was a Newport Ritchie group. That, that was one that was in my mind and I'd forgotten about Jacksonville Spanish, but thank you for reminding me. All right. Thank you, everyone, for what you're doing again, um, for being brave and being courageous and choosing to minister at this time. I think it's it's exactly what kids need is someone to help them. So let me pray for us. Our God and our Father, thank you for this group of leaders. Thank you for the way that they love you. Thank you for the way that they're leading young people closer to you. I pray that you'll bless them as they get the final information from us that they can share with their kids. I pray for their e-trackers, for the families of those e-trackers, and for the staff in each of these clubs, for the directors, the secretaries, and all the counselors. I pray that as we get ready for this uh, e-tracker iCampery, that you'll bless all the work that's been done, all the work that still has to be done. We pray for the presenters for the honors for our varsity kids for our adults we pray for those who are doing activities we pray for the worships and all those that are participating and putting that together father we also pray for the tailors and for javier as they lead us through this campery uh, we pray for our guest speaker pastor marsh that you'll use him in a powerful way and i pray that all of us when the campery closes will be able to look back and say i am so glad that I attended this and I believe now more than ever that I am loved and God said it and I believe it. And Father, I pray that that would give all of us, adults and kids alike, the courage to continue to face every day, 
knowing that we are loved by you and that there's nothing that can separate us from that love. So thank you for all these things. We also pray for those who have been baptized already for celebrating that with them. And we pray for those that are considering that, that this Camp Free would help move them closer in that direction. We thank you that you're our God. We thank you that you're good. We thank you that you love us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Hope you have a good night. Remember to tell yourself often, I am loved. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, Javier. Good night. Good night. Bye, Jackie. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Because Pedro now. Someone to put up. Yeah, I want to